Hi, I'm Dr. F.J. Schofield, and we're going to go through some uh, remodeling exercises we have patients do, and also preventative exercises uh, to help restore the spine to a healthy structure and then prevent any future uh, subluxations and, and catastrophes with the spine. Come here. First, we have them sit on the disc, and then they can lie back on the traction. And with the disc, it's pretty simple, you just swing back and forth, you're increasing the range of motion of the lumbar spine and also strengthening the core musculature. And then as you get better, you can swing more and more. And then, for the cervical, you can come around, what we have them do is put it right under their back and then they can hang their head. Okay. You hang your head off, but this is too much for most people. I have a of a curve in my neck. So what we have them start with is just right there, right under the skull. Just start with that. And you do it for eight minutes, both exercises, and then as they get more, uh, as they progress, then you have them hang it off and bring it up. And just count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then after they've done that for a while and they're progressing nicely, then you can have them just hang it off for the entire eight minutes. And then after the first 12 weeks, you can add the strap. Never before the first 12 weeks do you add the strap. And even for some people, it's going to be longer than that before you actually bring the strap around the forehead. Um, so you just take what their body gives you and you go uh, that way. Then another exercise we have, uh, okay. Another exercise we have people do are these disc hydration exercises. And you, uh, for, you can have them go side to side in the beginning, like you're downhill skiing. It's not a race, just side to side, also for eight minutes, and then also forward and back. Forward and back is a little more advanced, it's tougher. So in the beginning we usually have them just go side to side, and then they add this and they do four minutes and four minutes. And for the advanced patients, you do a figure eight. You go back and you just feel that core musculature. But that's too much for most people in the beginning. So forward and backwards, pelvic thrust, just feel that spine opening up and side to side. And the reason we have them do these different exercises, especially this, this is great for truck driver secretaries, anybody that's sitting all day. It's about 400 times more pressure on your spine when you're sitting. And your disc after age 12 are avascular, there's no blood supply. So to get nutrition and get rid of metabolic waste, they need motion. So literally what you're doing, I'm going to come on in, when you say you're going backwards, you go back and you close down the back of this disc and expunge waste into the tissues to be absorbed by the capillaries and you imbibe or suck nutrition into the disc, imbibition. And the same thing here, you close down the front of the disc, expunging waste, open up the back, uh, imbibing or bringing nutrition in, and then when you go sideways, same thing, close down, open up, so you get that whole disc nice and healthy. The discs are like sponges. Uh, if a sponge gets dry and brittle, and you put it under pressure, you try to bend it, it'll break or snap, and that's when your disc gets like that, it can bulge or herniate. If you keep the sponge nice and wet and hydrated, it can give when you put it under pressure. And that's what you want your disc to do, be able to give when you put it under pressure. It's also a great exercise for disc bulges, helping to heal disc bulges. Um, and then uh, the same thing when you do those cervical exercises, you're bringing it in, putting that curve, retraining the soft tissues of the spine to hold that curve, to hold the spine uh, in alignment rather than out of alignment. And you're keeping those discs nice and healthy Boom. same thing because most people through traumas and poor posture the soft tissues of their spine are holding uh, are holding them out of alignment that's why you can't go in with one adjustment and correct the whole spine and correct the subluxation right away because you tear all that fibrotic tissue that's holding them out of alignment so what you do is you make a minute correction and then you retrain the soft tissue to hold the spine in the pr improved position and then over time 12, 24 um, weeks, 24 months, you achieve the healthy spine.